Hello, this how-to video will show you how to take a DVD movie and copy it to a blank DVD movie. Now, I have to say that before I show you how to do this, it is illegal to copy a DVD movie to a blank DVD. It is only okay to do this if you buy and purchase the original DVD and copy it. So, I'm going to show you how to do this. We need two programs to do this. We need this program right here, any DVD, and we need this other program, clone DVD too. Um, any DVD is basically a very innovative program. It runs in the background, and what it does, it breaks all the copyright locks, so you're able to uh, copy the DVD. It's very simple. It just basically runs in the background and um, you just let it do what it has to do. Now the other program is really a, a burner. Okay, here we go, let's get started now. So right now what I'm gonna do, you need to go to the website to get these two programs. So I'm gonna show you which website you have to go. Now the website is called slysoft.com. Um, the only thing is these programs do cost a little bit of money. But the good news is the company gives you 21 days free trial period. Um, they're very confident of their um, software, so they give their customers, their new customers, 21 days for free, a license for free when they download it um, for 21 days so they can um, try it out. And if they like it, they can buy it. So what you have to do is when you go to their homepage, slysoft.com, is look for any DVD and don't click buy now since they give you 21 days click download and you'll click this right here this will come up this is their they have many different types of softwares but right now we're going to focus on any DVD or any DVD HD which means high definition they're both the same this is the version and you just click here you can also see right here that they give you a period of 21 days for free which gives you time to evaluate so you just click here and you just click run and follow through. It's very simple. Um, I'm not gonna do this because I already have it saved on my computer, so I'm gonna cancel out. You have to install the other software, which is the clone DVD. Same idea, this is the version. And it's also free for 21 days. You just click on this green arrow, and you click run, and just follow through, and, and it'll be ready to run. Okay, now we're ready to uh, copy the movie that I'm going to copy is Walt Disney, Little Mermaid. It's one of my kids' favorites, and they seem to watch it over and over again, so I need to have a backup. So I'm going to insert the movie in my optical drive that's not the burner. It's just the DVD player. And when I insert that, um, the fox head will start to scan right here. And uh, sometimes you get a little pop-up saying that it's reading the disk that it's ready. If not, just give it some time to scan. I'm also going to get a pop-up saying that um, the computer wants to know if I, if I want to watch the movie, which I got an autoplay. I'm going to just X that out, which I don't want to uh, watch the movie right now. Um, just give it some time. Sometimes you do get a pop-up. If not, you just click the fox's head. And you'll get this any DVD summary. Now it tells you uh, some information. Tells you what letter the drive is. Um, it tells you the type of hardware you're using, and um, it basically shows you uh, if it found and removed structural copy protection, which is good. It tells you a little summary that it found it and removed the copyright protection, and it also found some error zones. Uh, it tells you that it did all that, which is great. It tells you the, the label of the um, Little Mermaid. You have to remember that. So that's the name of the volume of the DVD. All right, so we, we see that this is all done and good, and we click OK. And basically, that's all we have to do. Just make sure this is running in, in the background, and we're ready for the next program. And I'm going to click on Clone DVD 2. And here it is. This is the welcome title page, and it has three parts. Um, the first part is basically copying DVD titles, which is just parts of the movie, not the whole movie, just the main movie. Um, I pretty much like using this feature uh, because the more stuff that you copy on your blank DVD, um, the quality
quality of the picture gets worse because it's a compression. So the more data on your blank DVD, the compressor gets tighter and the quality drops. Um, this right here is the option of copying the total movie, one-to-one -one copy. So whatever is in the original, the full amount will go to the to the blank DVD, which is a full copy, and the quality of the movie will drop. This option right here, um, writing existing data to your DVD uh, files are are changed to ISO and UDF images. They're just basically changing the files so you, you can just save it on a hard drive. So you're not really putting it on a DVD. But for now, I just want to copy my my Little Mermaid movie for my kids on a blank DVD, which is these two options. But I want to just the movie itself. So I'm just gonna click here. And now you get the title configuration. Now the title configuration is basically um, uh, the part of the program that tells you where is this movie. The, the program doesn't know where the movie is, so that's why it's really important to know the, the volume of the movie. I'm going to click on this little uh, fox head right here. Uh, the, then the volume of the movie is, remember, L, M, E, O, and N, W, 1. So that's the name of the movie. So right here you click to browse in your computer to find the movie and we'll see it right here and I'll just highlight it and click OK now it shows me all the different chapters of the movie and it just highlights the main movie which has the longest play time 1 hour and 22 minutes Usually the one with the highest play time is the main movie and everything else is just extra stuff that you don't need. I mean you can click everything here but it will just lower the quality of the movie. There's a bar right here that tells you uh, quality of the movie. Red being really bad, yellow being okay, and green being the best and gives you a percentage. Right now it's at 96% quality. That's great. Now if you're not sure if this is the main movie, um, you can actually click this tab right here which is the preview tab. and it will start playing what you highlighted as a check off and it looks like this is the main movie because you can see the movies being played and it's exactly what I'm looking for this is the main movie excellent so now I'm going to just put this back in the information tab um, another thing is the, the types of DVDs if you're just using a single layer DVD blank you have to set it on DVD 5 if you have a DVD double layer plus or minus R, you have to set it here. If you're using a mini DVD, you set it here. If you're using a DVD RAM or a CDR, you set it there. If you have something different, you have to look for it in the custom. Another thing is you have to make sure you have this checked off. This is preserved menus. You can actually get rid of that. But I try not to get rid of my menus page because a lot of times when you do, it actually doesn't work. It's best to check this on. Now, next step. All right, so we just click next. Now, sometimes this will come on. It will be left on when you first see this. And you'll see all these check marks. Now, I don't really need French audio, so I'll get rid of that. You can see this will turn from 99% quality. When I get rid of the French audio, it got to like 100%. This is a, a great copy. And the quality is getting better and better. It's up to 100%. I'm going to get rid of Spanish and just leave English. Um, if you really want to direct this comments, you can click this here. But I really don't want any extra direct this comments, so I'm going to click this off. Subtitles. Now, I don't know French. I don't want to have Spanish. I'll leave the English subtitles, and that's really great. And then there's Subtitle properties for children. I'm going to leave this off. So this is all done. The quality is up to 100%, which is great. So now we hit next. Now this is the output method. Again, you have three choices. You can save this somewhere, and you can browse in your computer and save it as a DVD file. Or you can actually save this as a ISO or UDF image somewhere in your computer or you can just burn it on a blank DVD writer. So we're going to set it on DVD writer. It shows my DVD burner. 
and gives me options. Now my DVD burner burns maximum of 16x, which is great. It will get done really fast. But here's the side effects. It will get done quicker, but the quality drops. So it's best not to have it at 16x. Um, I set it around 8x, which is right in the middle. It's not too fast, not too slow, and the quality is great. Now, you gotta make sure the volume is correct, which is, this is the correct volume. And I created a temporary folder in one of my hard drives, or else you can just leave it as default. It will create its own default folder if you don't have uh, no other hard drive. You can use their default folder, which is fine. Now, um, you have the choice of, if you click this on, all your files that it's copying from will be dumped in this temporary folder. This is left on. When the program is done copying, it will delete the, f the videos. A lot of times people leave this on because they don't want to keep saving all these folders because movies are very big. They're like four gigabytes. So I recommend if you're not going to do anything with that um, file, just leave this on. And that's it. And you just click go. And what it's doing right now is creating a DVD file on my other hard drive and it's reading the movie disc right now. And it's moving files one by one across from the, the movie into my temporary folder. You have this little tab that says log and it tells you that it, it started and it also tells you that it successfully removed layer brick, which is good. Um, you can click here for the summary of what it's gonna copy. And it can also click here for a little snapshot. And it's very slow moving the snapshot. It will give you little pieces of the movie. Um, but I like to leave it on log. Okay, now it's telling me it's gonna take 27 minutes to copy this. It's gonna happen. It's gonna get, the bars will get longer and longer until it hits 100%. And then once it gets 100%, it will start writing. So I'm gonna pause the video for now. Okay, I'm back. Um, it takes a long time when it reads all the information. It took about 20 something minutes, so I had a little break and I came back to the computer and I noticed that it has like 10 seconds left to uh, get done. Um, when it gets done in less than 10 seconds or so, it will go into this bar and the log is saying right now that it stopped the processing of moving the folders and it finished that and the writing has started and it tells you which um, hardware I'm using. I have a Pioneer burner so it tells you the, what type of hardware and the speed and it's setting up so it's actually erasing the blank before it starts to burn once it gets done with that it'll start writing here it is okay now it actually is saying it's going to take 25 27 minutes to write all this data to the blank DVD you have to remember it's huge it's got to be four point something, I would guess 4.2 gigabytes of data. The log will start to write, telling you that it's done, and then you can click eject. I'm going to pause it right now, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back from my little break, and it got done um, writing. Right now, it's completing the writing. It's creating um, buffers and borders, and I also forgot to mention you can actually click here if you want it to automatically shut down your computer when it's done. So it gives you the option. I'm still waiting for it to uh, complete the borders. And once it gets done with the borders, the log will start writing and a little um, box will come and you can click eject. Okay, wonderful. It got done. And you get this little box saying that the burn was done successfully and it tells you how long it took for it to burn. So it took 32 minutes and 15 seconds. So under an hour, not so bad. So you click eject and the movie comes out. And um, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, please leave comments. Thank you very much. Have a good day.